here at PCA, we do have students who are involved in many different uh, arenas, whether um, we will have an athlete who also does theater, who also does music, um, who's also on the worship team, also a small group leader. And I really love that um, because there aren't those groups of people that stay together in one place. You know, the athletes don't hang out together at the lunch table and the theater people hang out together at their lunch table. They're all intermingled. And I think that's something really special about PCA that um, you are accepted for who you are. So we have a lot of different clubs that we can choose from or students choose from. And it really depends every year based on what the interests are of the students. And let's say wants to do robotics, they would go and find a, a teacher that would be willing to be the advisor for the club and then they would send out information, the school sends out information, and that's how it all begins. But so for one year there could be robotics because we have a lot of students involved in that, but other times we have, a, you know, robotics is not there, but there's something about computer science. We also have, um, we have a missions club, we have a history club, we have a medical and science club, and they're separate. There's a medical club and a science club. Um, we have a fellowship of Christian athletes, which is led by one of our Bible teachers to talk about how do we be like Jesus on the soccer field, on the basketball court. Some of the activities that students look forward to the most, uh, the first one that comes up is Brookwoods. Brookwoods is a very exciting activity for all of the students um, in that they love it. It begins with arriving here at school and they take a bus up to Brookwoods and when we get there um, we have a speaker, we have games, we do an ice cream social, we do class pictures um, and it's just a great way for the students to get to know one another. Um, we also use that as an opportunity to see where our leaders are, but we do also have a speaker at Brookwoods where they will come in, we'll have them come in and speak to the students uh, about character or spiritual growth or um, unity. After Brookwoods is still in the fall and it's during homecoming week and homecoming week is a huge um, fun way for students, again, to celebrate PCA. We have all kinds of class competitions, and all these competitions that we do throughout the week, kind of the culmination is on Friday, we have an event in the gym where we do games and competitions, and then on Friday night, we have a bonfire where the alumni are invited to come and be a part of that. We have music blasting, we usually serve hot chocolate, and it's just a great way to ask how the students are doing, those who are coming back from college. And uh, we have something called Dig Pink, which is a volleyball tournament also that happens during homecoming. And um, we're raising money for cancer awareness, breast cancer awareness, and that event is a lot of fun because we have teams, usually the boys soccer team has a volleyball team, and then obviously our girls varsity team plays. We have a faculty and staff volleyball team. Everybody wears pink or we try to get everybody to wear pink and it's just a great, another fun opportunity for some competition and fun. And in the winter time, we have the Silver Bell. And the Silver Bell is our dance that we have for all of our uh, upper school students. Um, an opportunity for students to dress up a little bit and we have snacks and drinks and dancing and um, another opportunity for uh, faculty and staff to be involved um, with the students in a really fun and safe environment. So our prom has been held at the Portsmouth Country Club every year. It's a beautiful location. Um, every year the sun is out and it's, um, it's just a beautiful location for our, our students. Family come out and um, watch the students as they, as they walk in with their dates or their friends. But a lot of connecting time happens on a normal school day. For example, the Senior Lounge is a great way for students to just hang out. They're playing games and they're just shooting the breeze, they're chatting and laughing, you know, I'll, I'll stop in there and ask how things are going and they're um, just so sweet and friendly and just fun 
our teachers love to be with our students. Um, if you walk through our hallways, you'll see um, during club time or during lunch time, you'll see a teacher with a couple of students just shooting the breeze. They're just talking, hanging out, um, they're eating together, um, they're doing work together. The students want them to be a part of the circle, to be a part of the conversation, and they're looking for their advice. They're asking, how was it when you were in high school? And um, there's just something really incredible about that.